What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843, back with another vending video. As you can see, we are back at the barbershop location, and this is our first time setting up our new Wittern Futura 3589 combo vending machine. So here we go guys, let's get right into it. So as you can see, the machine is completely empty. This was the same day that we delivered the machine, so we're just going to start stocking things up. So top row, kicking it off. Uh, we're going with some pretzels, we're going to go with some Cheez-Its, we're going to put some other things in there that we know did well, and some other things that are just kind of filler for now until we find out what's going to do better. So guys, put it down in the comments, let me know what new machines you're after right now, what kind of machines are you looking to upgrade your um, machine inventory to? Let me know what your favorite vending machine is, whether it be the soda machine, a snack machine, or a combo machine, put it down in the comments and let me know. All right, guys. So as you know, last week was a busy week for us. It was the arcade pinball vending coin up and all things cool auction. We did a video every day last week, guys. And I got to say it was fun. It was a lot of fun, but it was challenging, too, as you can imagine, putting together these videos every day. Um, I wish the channel was big enough where I could do this full time. Right. That would be so cool. So with that said, help us out, guys. Help our channel grow. If you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button. Click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. Also, while you're down there, make sure you give us a thumbs up. That's really important because when you like the video, it helps YouTube share our videos with other new viewers. And again, that is what helps us grow. So guys, it doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up to like the video. That really helps us out so much. Also, if you could share our videos, right? If you see somebody that has questions about vending or they're looking to get into the business, share the channel with them as well. All right. Thank you so much, guys. All right, we're getting that top row stocked up. So as you can see, we have pretzels, Cheez-Its, Wise Original, Fritos, and then the sour cream and onion Wise chips as well. In row two, we're going to do, I know we're going to do some Takis in this row. We're going to do some things like that, some barbecue chips. Um, these are all the things that sold really well in the previous snack machine we had here. And if you watched in the previous video, we actually did the collection from that machine at the truck accessory shop because that's where that snack machine went to so we did the collection there we did you know we pulled out all the expired products stocked it up did the collection so if you want to see the collection from the barbershop go back and watch the the video at the truck accessory shop the last one there but guys we've just about got everything moved so here's here's kind of the update so as you saw we moved the um dixie narco 180 to the break and alignment shop so that small coke machine is now at the break and alignment shop at the truck accessory shop, we moved the Royal 650-10 Live View and the snack machine that was here at the barbershop to the truck accessory shop, and you saw the video there. We haven't shown you much of the Royal 650 yet, uh, but that's coming. We're going to be doing a credit card reader on that thing. It's going to be it's going to be cool. We did bottles in it. If you follow our community tab, you probably saw some of the pictures we uploaded with uh, all of our bottle inventory ready to go into that machine and kind of how it's looking right now. So again, that's another thing too. If you subscribe, you'll see our community tab posts. You'll kind of see what's going on behind the scenes from now and then too. We do. We usually do. I don't know. Usually a post a day. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes we don't do a post in in the day. But usually we kind of let you know what's going on behind the scenes. We sometimes share some pictures. So again, follow us on our community tab. You can see kind of what's going on behind the scenes here at Galaxy Games Eight Four Three. All right, getting that middle row stocked up. You can see lots of talkies. We got the famous Amos, we're doing the barbecue chips now, and I think we're doing cheese doodles at the very end. Uh, and mini cookies too. Um, I like to give options, right? So obviously we have the famous Amos on the one side, we're doing mini cookies on the other side, and, and they're two price points too, so that way everyone has options. But the cool thing about this machine is it does have a Nyax credit card reader installed, and we did an install video uh, a couple videos back too. So. Lots of lots of video references in this video because this machine was featured on the channel a lot and it was even before it was even on our location. So let's see, what else did we do to this machine? We, we, we got the machine, we took the vinyl off, remember that? We pulled the vinyl off this machine. This was one of the healthier for you vending um, vinyl wrapped machines. And in one video we pulled the vinyl off of that. In another video we installed the VPOS Touch Nyax credit card reader. Um, so that was a previous video. So lots of previous videos regarding this machine here, and now it's finally on location. We're finally getting it for its initial stock up, and it's ready to make money, guys. So check it out. Second row is done. Let's move on to that third row. So this is the candy row. 
And this is going to be one of the more popular rows. This location loves their sweets, right? So we're stocking up Starburst, Skittles, M&M's, Oreos, Rice Krispie Treats, all kinds of cool stuff. And since uh, Skittles were always really popular here, we're going to try actually two different types of Skittles. We're going to do the regular and the wild berry. And if you remember on our previous community tab post in the previous video, we struggled to find regular Skittles, right? They've been sold out here in my local Sam's Club. But luckily, I was in upstate South Carolina, in Greenville, South Carolina, and I stopped into their Sam's Club there, and they had plenty of Skittles. So I loaded up on the original Skittles there. <laughs> so you got to make do sometimes, right, guys? All right, here we go. Stocking up that middle row. We've got Starburst in. We've got Rice Krispie Treats in. We've got the M&Ms in. Crunch Bars are going in next. We're going to do Snickers, two types of Skittles. We're going to do Sour Patch Kids. Again, this place likes their, um, their sweets, so we're going to load them up with that. We're going to load them up with what we think is going to sell well. All right. Hey, guys, now's a good time to remind you, too, if you want to join us in vending-related chat, it could be vending, arcade, all that kind of stuff, inventory, all that good stuff, check out our Discord. You can find the link for that down in the description. Both myself and Extreme Vending here on YouTube share a Discord server, and there's always conversation going on, so come check us out, guys. All right, Snickers are in. Stocking up the Oreos next. After that, it's going to be Sour Patch and the two types of Skittles, and that should complete that row. After we complete that row, we can move on to the uh, the drink section of the combo machine. All right, Sour Patch just getting wrapped up. Do you guys run Sour Patch Kids in your machines? If you do, let me know in the comments how they go. I've never done them in a machine before. So this is something new for me. Put it down in the comments. Let me know if you run Sour Patch or even Swedish Fish or some of those types of candies like that, the kind of gummy or candies. Let me know how they do for you. Put it down in the comments, guys. All right, as you can see, we're getting the Skittles stocked up. We got regular Skittles completed. Now it's time to do the Wild Berry. And uh, guys, I have been I have been monitoring the inventory since uh, since this video was shot. And the Wildberry Skittles seem to be pretty popular at this location. You'll see when we go back to service the machine just how many have sold. Um, but uh, I think you're I think you're going to be in for a surprise. All right, time to start stocking up the drinks. So again, I don't have a cart, I don't have a dolly, I don't have a hand truck. So it's going to take a couple trips to stock up the drinks because, guys, the drinks are a lot heavier than the snacks, right? All right, here we go. So in this bottom part, it's all ready to go. I've got my map ready to go as to what goes where, and I also have to put all of the examples in the live view window. So starting on the top row, we're going to do water. And I'm not sure if water is going to be the end-all be-all in that spot. Um, the location did tell me they wanted Red Bull instead of water, so we might try swapping out the, the waters for Red Bulls, and we'll see how that goes. We're also trying like a juice drink here. This is a Tropicana Twister drink. Um, I thought that would be pretty cool. I'm trying to give options, guys. Remember, I'm trying to give options. I don't want to do just soda in this machine, um, because a, a lot of kids do come to this location too, so I thought like a juice option would be pretty cool. And we're going to do Gatorades, because Gatorades are always popular everywhere. This is the Lemon Lime Yellow Gatorades we're going to try. And notice how you load cap down in this part. I think it's pretty cool. All right, next section is for a can. 16 ounce on the left, 12 ounce on the right. Uh, what are we going to do here? I know it's tough to see right here, but I'm loading monsters in the 16 ounce monster cans into the far left column. So we're going to try the monsters out. We're going to see how they do here. What else do we got? I think I only load 12 monsters. I didn't fill it all the way up. There we go. All right, so we got that part stocked up. I'm going to close the fridge area, and I think we're going to start loading in the live view items, and then we're going to move on to our next load of drinks. So what else are we going to do? We're going to do Mountain Dew. We're going to do Coke. We're going to do Sprite. We're going to do Fanta Orange, um, which are all some, some different options that we're going to try out. And again, remember, this is just my initial stock, right? Okay, 
All right, we got those drinks stocked up. It's time to run back out to the vending truck and get the next load of drinks. Again, I do need a cart, guys. I know we talk about this in some videos in the past. We need a cart. All right, here we go. Next up, we're going to do some sprites. I think we're going to do some maybe Fanta Orange in there, some Coke. I don't know. Let's see what let's see what we got. So, so far, we've got the water, the Tropicam Twister, the Gatorade, and some Monster in there. What are we doing next? Uh, we're going Sprite next. Okay. So, we're doing the whole bottom row of Sprite, because Sprite is one of the things that this location did request. So, we're going to do the whole bottom row, all those coils, as Sprite. And as you can see, we do uh, the 12-ounce cans here, and uh, you load them top up, or the pull tab up on these ones. There, I'm putting a couple sprites in the live view window. There we go. And it looks like we're going to do the 16 ounce orange Fantas, the Mountain Dews, and the Coke all in the window and close it up. How those look? I know it's. I know that the video is a little faster speed because this video would have been over 20 minutes long had I not sped it up. Because you know it takes a while to load up these machines. But there we go. Got the live view window all complete. Let's go ahead and close that back up and put the wing nuts on there so they don't those those uh, examples don't go moving around. Time to do some more stocking. All right. Again, we're doing the whole bottom row is Sprite because again, this location requested Sprite. All right. Uh, next, we're doing some 16 ounce orange Fantas. And uh, I struggled really to figure out what to do for that second 16 ounce um, column because this machine is set up for two 16 ounce cans and then two 12 ounce cans in that middle row. So I actually found uh, the Fantas and uh, we're gonna try those out. We're gonna see how they do. Um, we're gonna see between between those and the monsters which ones do better and then we'll probably figure out something else to replace if, if one of them doesn't do very well. All right, got those stocked up. Um, and again, we're not all the way stocked up yet. I still got to run back out to the uh, vending truck and uh, get some more stuff. Um, but we'll see what happens here. All right, actually, what's going to happen is I actually run out of memory on the memory card. So we're just going to wrap this video up right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's time to wrap up the video. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.